All right, grade 11 chem, we are back. This is the fourth lecture in our series of lectures dealing with naming compounds. Again, names and formulas of compounds, super, super important. You have to know how to do this, guys. So please pay attention. If you know names and formulas, the rest of this course is just that much easier to deal with. All right, as usual, our PowerPoint lecture notes, the same ones I use in class are up here in the iPad in the top corner, and then we'll be putting stuff on the whiteboard like examples and stuff like that to further the learning. Anyway, the two types of acids that we're going to be naming today are binary and ternary acids. We'll deal with binary acids first. So a binary acid, a binary acid is called binary because it only has two elements involved in it. It has hydrogen and a non-metal. All right, the names of these acids use both of the elements in their name. All right, so we've got a couple of examples here, HCl and HBr, HCl, right? And we see the little AQ here. Now that AQ means that it's aqueous. That's the state. Aqueous means it's dissolved in water, all right? So that's what aqueous means. It means that the acid comes to us dissolved in water as a solution. So we're adding water to that, all right? When we buy acids, right, for the chem prep room, we don't just get pure HCl and that's all that's in there is hydrogen and chlorine, right? They're dissolved in water to a specific strength or concentration, right? So they're aqueous solutions, all right? So, the AQ is not part of the formula, but all of our acids and bases will have AQ at the end. So let's get used to showing that state. All right, so HCl, hydro is the first element. That represents hydrogen and chloric, all right? Hydrochloric acid. If we take a look at this, here are both elements. We've got hydrogen represented by hydro and chlorine represented by chlor, and there's an ick ending. All of our binary acids start with hydro and end in ick. All right? So let's look at our second example, HBr. And it's aqueous, all, as all acids are. This one will be hydrobromic acid. Hydro and ick. Again, brome is the root of bromine. Chlor is the root of chlorine, right? So hydrobromic acid, hydrochloric acid. The hydro and the ick are on all of them, all right? And again, if it's online, it must be true. We can do a couple of more examples. We could have HI. And that will be hydro, again, iodic acid. Hydro and ic, right? And the root for iodine is the iode in the middle, right? And our last one, or our last example, H2S. And this will be hydro sulfuric acid hydro and ick all right the moment i see the term hydro at the beginning of an acid i know that it is binary it has to be one of those acids that just has two elements hydrogen and a non-metal Bromine, non-metal. Chlorine's a non-metal. Iodine, sulfur, they're non-metals. All right? So that's pretty simple. You would have dealt with one or two of these, I'm sure, in grade 10. All right? Let's go on to our next type, the ternary acids. All right? I'll bring up our note here. Now, the ternary acids are a little bit trickier. All right? They too will start with hydrogen because all acids start with hydrogen. And they will be aqueous solutions, right? When we buy something like nitric acid or sulfuric acid, right? These are ternary acids. They are aqueous, all right? 
Now, for a ternary acid, we have hydrogen, of course, starting off the compound because all acids start with hydrogen. Only this time it's with a polyatomic ion. All right? And this polyatomic ion is going to tell us how to name the acid. All right? If the polyatomic ion ends in eight, like nitrate, sulfate, carbonate, phosphate, they all end in eight, right? All of those polyatomics in Nick the Camel are the eight polyatomic forms, all right? If it ends in eight, the acid will end in ick. If the polyatomic ends in ite, and remember ite means it has one less oxygen than the eight form, so we had things like nitrite, sulfite, right, phosphite. If it ends in ite, the polyatomic, the acid will end in us, all right? The way I remember this is, and I put it up here, I ate something icky, and us, we are ite. Right, that's the short form for all right. So I ate something icky, and us, we are it. Right, sir is down with it. Anyway, if there is a hypo or per used with the polyatomic, they get carried over and they will be in the acid's name as well. All right, so let's do the examples that we have on our PowerPoint. All right. So our first one, HNO3, and it's aqueous. Again, that AQ is the state. It's not part of the formula. Now, I never use hydro when I'm doing a ternary acid, right? Hydro just meant it was binary. Well, look, one, two, three different elements here. Hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. So hydro is out the window for these. I'm not starting any of these with hydro. I'm going right to that polyatomic and checking to see what I'm going to be using. So NO3, that's nitrate. So that means I'm going to be using ick at the end. So nitrate becomes nitric acid. All right. Our next one, HNO2. It too is aqueous. One, two, three elements. This isn't binary, not using hydro in it at all. NO2 is nitrite. That ite is going to become us. Ite, us, right? So it's going to be nitrous acid. All right, and the third example here, H2SO4, it too is aqueous. Hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen, more than two elements not using hydro. Going to be using this, eight and eight. So SO4 is sulfate. It's supper and Nick the Camel. So, so SO4 is sulfate. Right, so I'm using sulfate, and that means I'm gonna be using ick. I ate something icky. So this one will be sulfuric acid, right? So you can see the endings. The eights get ick, the eights get us. Let's see. Oh, there you go. If it's online, it must be true. Abraham Lincoln said that. Now. Let's do a couple that have the carryover with hypo and per, all right? So, we'll do this one first. So here's one here. Now, I know SO4 is sulfate. I just used SO4 down here, and I know that's sulfate. That means SO3, would be sulfite, and SO2 is hyposulfite. So the hypo gets carried over, and the ite is going to become 
us according to that rule. So what this one is going to be called is hypo sulfur us acid. All right. Hypo sulfite, the ite becomes us and the hypo gets carried down. Hypo sulfurous acid. And we'll do another one here. H C L O 4. Again, three elements, not using hydro at the beginning. None of these started with hydro, right? These names. HClO4. What's ClO4? Well, clam and Nick the Camel has the chlorine polyatomic in it. And that's ClO3. Chlorate is ClO3. This is one more. This is perchlorate. All right. So I've got eight and I've got per, and I know eight is going to become ick. So this acid is per chloric acid. The eight gets replaced by ick and the per gets carried down. Anyway, that's all that to, that's to it. Know those polyatomics and you'll know ternary acids no problem. All right? Anyway, I hope everything was crystal clear. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, throw them in the comments section below this video or reach out to me through Edsby if you're in my class. Or if you're in my class, raise your hand, talk to me, let me know. All right? Anyway, I hope it was crystal clear. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.